Welcome to the SCLD podcast, where we talk about all the things you can do and find at the library. Hello, I'm Andrea Brumbaugh. I'm the social media specialist here at SCLD. And I'm Savannah Stewart. I'm the communication associate here at the library. And we're back with some more one-star book reviews. Yes. I love doing this. It's so fun (laughs) to go on there. (laughs) I literally laugh out loud when I'm looking for these. I'm so excited to read some of these. So what is your genre today? Um, I looked at biographies, and a couple of them might be autobiographies. Okay. Just for your your information. And I did – well, I started – Um, planning on doing books from Oprah's book club. Right. But a lot of them are kind of more, um, not as well known as some of the other uh, books that we do on here. So I did a couple from um, Oprah and a couple from Reese's book club. Awesome. So that's mine. Do you want to start? Sure. Okay. Okay. Can't see anything. You good? No, I'm good. Up here. Eyes up here. Okay. Okay. Author's ego manages to outsize even the magnificent Pacific Crest Trail. She's a self-absorbed jerk who manages to use her mom's death as an excuse to spread her selfishness over everyone she knows. She survives her partial hike of the PCT only due to the amazing generosity of fellow hikers who are actually competent. Oh, wow. I'm guessing that's is wild. It is. Yeah. Indeed. Did you read that one? I did not read it, but I saw the movie. Oh, nice. With yeah. Reese Witherspoon. With a spoon. Mornings are hard. Yeah. Um, yeah. Nice. I liked the movie. I haven't read the book, but I, I liked thought the, the book movie. was good. I mean, but it's like dark. Like oh, she, right. Because it's yeah, drugs and death and all that kind it's of rough. stuff. It's rough. Yeah. Yeah. Don't watch Divorce, it in winter. Kind of. Yeah. yeah. Don't watch it in winter. Okay. <laughs> it's just a good little. to know. You're sad because there's no greenery as she's like hiking through the Pacific Crest Trail and you can like smell the tree sap and stuff. Oh. And you just can't do that in winter. There's no smells. Oh. Okay. So that part makes me the saddest, but also like, you know, death and. Yeah. Drugs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> also a big bummer. <laughs> real, real fun. Fun book. Okay. All right. Um, so mine. <clears throat> Remember Oprah's Book Club? Yeah, races. yeah. Okay. Got it. Um, a more appropriate title, in my opinion, would be Wine. <laughs> like W-H-I-N-E. Thank you for clarifying. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, it's like a 90210 version of The Odyssey. What? <laughs> okay, so now I think you'll start to get it Okay. after this. Alternate title, How to Be a Complete Idiot, Hiking Edition. Okay, here's another one. Once she actually gets the high of hiking under the weight of a pack of half her body weight, for God's sake, the book becomes Mary Sue Goes on a Nature Walk. Is this wild? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is also wild. <laughs> Amazing. Which our is, bad. yeah, on yeah. Oprah's Book Club. Yeah, so. so our bad for not double checking that we're going to do the same one. Yeah, ones. I guess no, we should probably um, yeah. have a third person checking. We did that for the others and did not for this one. That's yeah. amazing, though. <laughs> that's really your first one? Yeah, that really, oh my really gosh. was the first one. I was like, oh, yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> it's funny that we didn't Fate. get, like, the same... Well, I was like, there's no way it'd be wild. And then I'm like, no, I'm pretty sure it's wild. (laughs) Oh, there was another one about um, eating a loved one's remains. Will not. Oh, yes. Will not ensure that they will remain with you forever. (laughs) Approximately 53 hours before they pass through your body. (laughs) That's just a good thing to know. Just FYI. Yeah. 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 (laughs) All right. I'll give you hints if this is too vague. Okay. Okay. This book was an absolute drag. Lots of words about a very selfish individual. Just too boring to keep reading. And this one says, Boy, did I have a hard time getting through this book. It's like having to sit through days of listening to an uncle you don't particularly care for, boring you with his stories. Before I read this book, all I knew about famous person was that I disliked his products. Now I know why. He was a deeply unpleasant man. Disliked his products. Deeply unpleasant man. <laughs> he could 
be a lot of people I know. <sighs> yeah, I know. yeah. And he was, so I'm guessing he's dead now? Yep. Okay. I, I don't know. In the tech that. industry? Oh, Steve Jobs? Yes. Okay. <laughs> that I had kind of thought maybe. Yeah. No, they did not like this uh, book. Apparently, it's not didn't great. like Steve Jobs either. Uh, yeah, I kind of think if you already didn't like him and you're reading his biography, yeah. you're already like... It's a little colored. Yeah. yeah. You're, you're, uh, you're ready your to hate it anyway. Your view is already shaped. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, this one I hated in school, so <laughs> I, I want to read it again just because. To make sure to you ma- yeah, actually make hate sure, it. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. smart. Smart. But, <clears throat> okay. Uh, first one. Thank God it's over. <laughs> Uh, this has got to be the most verbose and disgusting tale of misogyny in the English language. If there's anything worse, I don't want to know about it. Okay. Um, Yikes. This is an old, <laughs> this is a very old, old story. Okay. okay. FYI. Okay. Um, we have poor little character one who is in love with character two just by looking at her because she's pretty. So he spends the entire rest of the book feeling entitled to her. She never leads him on. She never... She is never even nice to him, so of course she's breaking his heart. And it's all character three's fault that he's obsessed with her and that the feelings are not mutual because character three raised her to be aloof. Apparently, if she were raised different, then when character one fell in love with her by looking at her, she would have been appreciative and grown up to be his obedient wife. Then I read (laughs) that this story was based on the author's life. He was shunned by some girl and never got over it. He had no idea what love meant and how it was different from obsession. He went on to leave his wife after she gave him 10 children and had an affair with a teenage girl. Thank goodness his lust was reciprocated by that girl, or we'd have yet another autobiographical novel about a friend-zoning wench. You read this in school? Yeah. It's a classic. Like in high school. Like as an assignment? Yeah, 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 yeah. <clears throat> Lolita? No. No. No, this one's a, <gasps> similar though. I mean, I don't I'm really trying to think of honestly, I only remember a little bit about this story. Okay. And it was like like they go to a house and there's like dead food basically, like crumbling food. I could be wrong. Maybe that was a dream. Um, <laughs> no, I. that's like all I remember. Okay, so do you want me to just tell you what it is? Yeah. Okay. It's uh, Great Expectations. Oh, I w- I've never read I've it. Never read it. Okay. Never seen okay. any of the yeah. movie adaptations. So apparently, I don't really, I just remember Miss Havisham, who was character three gotcha. in my description. Um, I just remember her. And But yeah, I feel like there was something where they went into the, Went into the house and like she was she was dead or something and there was like all this rotting food. I could be wrong. <laughs> I love that you're doubling down though. You're like no no no. I, it's I think, true. I think that's what. I, but that's all I literally remember. Okay. And this old lady named Miss Havisham. All right, I will uh, maybe read that. Yeah, maybe. I'm not sure. About I'm gonna that. give it another try so I can <laughs> see if that's actually part of that book. All right. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So this idiot disdains material comforts fr- his parents gave him, wanders off aimlessly mooching off other people he meets along the way. When he runs out of people to give him food and shelter and help, he dies. The end. Into the wild. Yes. Nailed it. I did not read that, but I loved that movie. So I yeah. want to read the book. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't it? Um, <laughs> Why her name is not Bella? That's who she plays. Oh, um, Kristen, Kristen Stewart? Stewart. Oh my! Really? That? I didn't remember her last name. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Savannah's last name. Awkward. Um, <laughs> uh, is she in that? Yeah, know. she plays the little sister. I think. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. yeah, it's been it's been a while since I saw that movie, yeah. but I did really like that one. Yeah, haven't read yeah. the book, but yeah. I mean, if you know how it ends, maybe it's better when you read the book. Maybe. Could be a little shocking. Yeah. 
<laughs> well, I think like most people kind of know right. that he dies at the end. Yeah. I mean, at least I did. I knew before Fair. I watched the movie just because I had heard of it. Yeah. You know, true. But, true. Sorry if there's a spoiler. Oh, yeah. Oops. Okay. Oh, by the way, I didn't, I forgot to say all of mine have been adapted into a film oh. or TV show yes. or will be. So Got it. That could help you as well. Got it. Okay. Okay. So this one, um, what a colossal waste of time. Oh, um, <laughs> all right. <laughs> this book was nause- a nauseating experience of Southern caricatures. The characters were adorned each with a set of quaint, innocuous attributes, as if the author had a character wheel she spun <laughs> to gather a set of random traits for each. <laughs> This is one of the books that demons will read aloud to me in hell after I die. Wow. Did not like it, apparently. Um, I'm sorry, maybe I should have finished it, but when she decided to name her baby Americus, I had to close it right then and there. Oh. Okay, oh, there's, here's one more. And okay. Then you'll probably get it. Okay. After. This book was horrible. If I could have give it half a star, I would. <laughs> It's really unrealistic. If someone was living in Walmart in real life, they'd be arrested, not given a job. Oh. I think I've seen this movie. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't think I read the book. I didn't read the book either, but I saw the movie. Is is there like, does any of the words start with an H? Yes. Okay, so that's cool. that's good. You did good. (laughs) There's a couple H's in the the title. Heart. Where the heart is. There we go. Okay. yeah, Yeah. Good job. Yeah, I've seen the movie. With Natalie Portman. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I love Natalie Portman. Yeah. I did like the movie, but it was also very sappy. Yeah. Oh, yeah, cheesy yeah. and kind of like yeah. a bit much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a little over the top. Oh, gosh. So I have way more than you. Okay. So I might bounce around a little bit. Okay. Save some for next time. Okay, this is one of my favorites. Okay. I gave up on this and returned it. I was expecting fun tales about the making of Star Wars. I was not expecting a maudlin slog of contrived wittiness and narcissism. Every tiny nugget of information is buried under an avalanche of this author's gee, ain't I a hoot ramblings. (laughs) What I thought this book was about. A behind-the-scenes memoir of the making of Star Wars. I don't want to speak ill of the dead, but she tries to be too clever throughout this book and sections from her diaries are painful don't know that i needed to wade through the existential angst of a teenager Mm. i'm guessing it's something written by carrie um i'm just lost fisher fisher (laughs) oh my god uh yeah the princess diarist Okay. So it's a memoir. She's got a, she's got a few. Yeah. That she so wrote, it's right? like a memoir. She's writing about her life. But the number of reviews that were like, oh, I thought this was about Star Wars <laughs> <laughs> was cracking me up. It's yeah. like, are you kidding me? Most of the one star reviews. This isn't about Star Wars. She just mentions that for a minute and then she talks about herself. <laughs> what the How heck? Dare. Yeah. <laughs> Ridiculous. That's a good one, though. I mean, I read it years ago now, but it made me laugh. Our video specialist is cringing at the fact that I did not remember her last name. You better hope he doesn't like edit you out of I, this whole episode. I feel like I feel like I'm off the like Star Wars fan list now. <laughs> I did not prove it's my okay. Fan I forgot list. my own last name, That's so you're true. good. <laughs> you're safe. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. So these are on Reese's. Those those three were on Oprah's. This okay. one, these two are on Reese's. All okay. Right. Uh, this book turned out to be a story about boring people mm-hmm. with boring lives <laughs> playing in a boring band and telling us their boring story. Wow. Mm-hmm. Band. Okay. Reading this book is like spending hours mastering the video game Guitar Hero <laughs> and realizing you could have learned to play an actual guitar in the time you wasted learning how to play the stupid game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that. Uh, predictably boring with flat, interchangeable characters. Hmm. Do yourself a favor and watch Almost Famous instead. Oh, gosh. So this the- one is about to be an adaptation or just recently oh. has, but it's kind of been in the news lately. I have not read it, but it's it's a pretty popular hmm. book. And it will be even more popular, I'm sure, once this comes out. Adaptation. Cool. I haven't been reading any news. 
<laughs> okay. Um, do you have a guess at all? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. It's uh, Daisy Jones and the Six. Oh, yes. Have you read it? No, but okay. it's been on my like to read. Yeah, I. But I, apparently, it's boring. Apparently. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, you know, who knows. <laughs> all right <laughs> to each their own right? yeah <laughs> cool so there is it going to be a movie or a, a tv show i think tv show yeah i, I like it's... when they do that with books because then they can add more stuff and they can keep a lot of it in yeah okay um which one next which next okay how about this one what a pile of wet hot garbage <laughs> that was one review <laughs> Greta. She was not a fan. This is an extremely boring book about a man who I am convinced is a psychopath. Okay. Got about halfway through and gave up. Waste of time. I'll probably get it after this one. Okay. Poorly written attempt at glorifying a greedy, narcissistic con man. If you want a more accurate picture of who this person really is, simply spend a few minutes on his Twitter page. Oh, is this... uh I have a couple guesses. I was just going to say. I'm like, hmm. Um, I'm thinking like Elon Musk. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yep. Yeah. It was a lot of the reviews that were like after he bought like Twitter and stuff. Yeah. We're just going on there to say he's a dumb person and leaving one star. Uh, I'm like, well, that's. Yeah. Yeah, that happens sometimes. I mean, I was like, okay, let's go back to like 2019 and see what those people thought. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) Still thought it was garbage. Yeah, okay. (laughs) What's what's the name of his? his... Oh, Oh, Elon Musk. It's just called Elon Musk? (laughs) Yeah, by Ashley Vance. That tracks. Mm. It's just called Elon Musk. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, Okay. All right. I like COVID more than this novel. That one literally made me like snort laugh. And my son was like, what? <laughs> so I had to tell him what's going on. Okay. Um, I envied this character's mother for walking out of this book on page six <laughs> and not having to suffer through the rest of it like I did. Wow. Huge parts of the novel are a giant snooze fest of nature this, nature that, and here's some more nature. <laughs> and also grits, because this is Southern, y'all. Nature and grits. Mm-hmm. And I feel like I feel like I had another and it got cut off or something. But um Yeah. This one has is a fairly recent Crawdads. Yes. Where are the crawdads thing? Yes. All the nature. Yes. And some some grits. <laughs> did you read that one? I did. Did and you I, like it? I did. I enjoyed it. And then I watched the movie and that was okay too. I mean, I didn't I didn't think it was like fantastic like a lot right. of people did. My wife loved the movie. She was like, this is such a good movie. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, yeah, she didn't I, read the book. I but. definitely – this was maybe even years ago at this mm-hmm. point. Time. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, but I started to read the book and I just got – bored i didn't get very far into it and i was like okay i'm gonna try this at another time because mm-hmm. maybe i'm read too many fantasy books and i'm like whoa oh, yeah. whoa we're just jumping into like swamp land and it's yeah. really moving slow yeah it's a it is a why aren't all these book. people dying much faster <laughs> and then like coming back to life i don't understand <laughs> that's so weird weird why don't they have powers yeah you tell yeah. me there's no witches in here <laughs> well I mean, oh. I think they do kind of call her like a bog oh. witch or something like that. In oh, it, well, but, yeah, but know. she's not really a witch. It's, oh, yeah, it's not that kind of book. Okay, it is kind of slow. I listened to the audio book though, and I think oh. it was pretty good. Oh yeah, that'd probably yeah. be a good way to do it. Yeah. Okay, so for my last one, that was my last one, by the way. FYI. Cool. Uh, okay, let's do this one. Okay. This is an autobiography. Okay. Audiobooks can be dangerous. During a recent road trip in which I listened to this audiobook, I had plenty of time to consider the pros and cons of vehicular suicide. Oh, okay. pro. I would, be, I would be relieved of this author's screechy voice and musings forever. Con, I would never again be able to eat cheese. My instinct for survival prevailed barely. 
Jeez, yeah. I suffered through this book in its entirety so that I would be able to write a justifiably flaming review. Okay. So reasons for not having um, vehicular manslaughter or suicide, whatever. Yeah, not manslaughter. <laughs> yeah, no manslaughter. <laughs> Go no. run over people. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Not killing someone else, killing yourself. Yeah. Um, uh, is is cheese and writing a flaming review that I mean, yeah. Okay. You do, it is a sad day when you can't have cheese. It is super sad. <laughs> Why do I sound like Eeyore? <laughs> so sad. Um, <laughs> this author has, I think, she's voiced a character in a very recent um, TV show. Okay. Um, you have more? No. No? That's it? Just that one person? Yeah, I meant to grab more, but I okay. was just like... Um, okay, so... She's a writer. She's a writer. I think she directs, too, actually. And stars in TV shows. Okay. And... What was wrong with it again? They didn't like her screechy oh, voice. Her screechy voice. Oh. Okay. And she did... It. She was a writer on The Office. Oh, uh, Mindy Kaling. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The Is Everyone Hanging Out Without Me? Book, oh. I think from like 2011, 2013 yeah. or so. Yeah. 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 I enjoyed it when I read I, it. Yeah. I, I like Mindy Kaling. She makes me laugh. She's funny. Mindy yeah. Project is on Netflix right now. No. Oh, yeah. I haven't watched that, but I There's loved her in The Office. Beautiful one liners okay. in there that Travis doesn't really watch it but if he's in the room he giggles <laughs> i'm like yeah that was a good one we write that one down <laughs> yeah um some of the other ones i'll save okay because maybe i can do biographies about presidents or something you know like kind of yeah. or music people yeah anyway the biography ones are hilarious okay okay well thanks for joining us today and uh, hopefully we'll come back soon with some more one-star book reviews. We'll see you next time.